Hi, let's discuss one previous question of parsing. This question was asked in GATE CS 2017 set 2 question number 32. Consider the following expression grammar G. One expression grammar is given. Which of the following grammar is not left recursive but equivalent to G? Let's analyze one by one option and eliminate some option. A. E derive E minus T or T. It is left recursive. T derive T plus F or F. This is left recursive. There is left recursive present and this grammar is same as this. So option A is wrong. Next check option B. E derive T, E dash. This is not left recursive. E dash derive minus T, E dash or epsilon. This is not left recursive. Then T derive T plus F or F. Here T is present at left side. So this is a left recursive. Left recursion is present. So this is wrong. In option C, no left recursion is present. In option D, no left recursion is present. So answer can be from option C or option D. I already discussed how to convert left recursive grammar to right recursive. Let me just write that formula and I will use that formula and convert this left recursive grammar to right recursive grammar. Suppose one left recursive grammar is given A derive A alpha or beta. So what will be regular expression for this? It will be beta alpha clean closure. From this, we'll generate any number of alpha. Then we can end this by beta. From A, we'll generate A alpha. Then A alpha. From A, you can generate beta. So beta alpha clean closure. How we'll write right recursive grammar for this? We'll write A derive beta A dash. A dash is a new variable. From beta, we'll generate this beta. Then from A dash, we try to generate alpha clean closure. So A dash derive alpha A dash or epsilon. From A dash, we'll derive alpha A dash, then alpha A dash, then epsilon. So it will generate any number of alpha. And before that, beta is given. So this is the right recursive grammar for same left recursive grammar. So let me use this formula and convert this left recursive grammar to right recursive grammar. Now in this production, E derive E minus T or T. Is it left recursive? Yes. As E is present left side. So this E will be A. Then minus T will be alpha and t will be beta. I found alpha, beta and a. Let me write in this format. So e derive, what is beta? Beta is t, then a dash. a dash is some new variable. I am writing x for new variable as in option x is used. Next from x, I will generate this part. So x derive, what is alpha? Alpha is minus t x derive minus t x or epsilon this x is for a dash this minus t is for alpha next check this production t derive t plus f or f is this left recursive yes t is present at left side this is left recursive let this t be a then plus f as alpha f as beta then just write in this format from t will derive beta beta is f t derive f a dash in place of a dash i will take some new variable let it be y t derive f y this f is beta and this is a new variable then from y i will derive this part so from y i will derive plus f plus f is alpha then y or epsilon. Next production f derive start bracket e end bracket or id. Is this left recursive? No. As f is not present at RHS side. So write directly this production f derive start bracket e end bracket id. Now just check which option is similar to this. It is option c. So answer will be option c. If you know how to convert left recursive grammar to right recursive grammar, this formula you can easily solve this question. 
if this lecture is helpful for you please like and subscribe thank you